Ah, there's nothing like taking some time off from adventuring to rest, relax, and cast a line. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. I got something, I got something. It's a big one, I can feel it. It's got some fight in it. Just gotta, gotta reel it in. Yes, yes, there we go. And it's a bottle? How? How is it a bottle? It was fighting the line. There was movement involved. Bloody strange animated bottle, if you ask me. Oh, well, I, I, I'm sure there's plenty of actual fish in the sea, so uh, time to cast another line. For our mod of the day today is Ultimate Fishing by Merlord, Greatness 7, and Melchior Dog. A mod that adds a fully functional, fully animated fishing minigame to the World of Morrowind, where you can take a fishing pole, any fishing pole, attach a bit of bait, and fish anywhere you please. Fish off the coast of the Ascadian Isles near Vivec, or cast a line right off the shore as a Cedanine, or head inland to Lake Amea or Lake Nabea, a try your luck on the Odoi, or the treacherous waters of the Azuris coast. Where there's water, there's bound to be fish, and that means fishing with real-time animated casting. Just bring your pole in for a swing, cast your line, and watch it cast out and your lure splash into the sea. Fishing is a patient mer's game. Sometimes fish are quick to bite. Sometimes they like to buy their time. But when a fish is about to bite, uh, you'll see that telltale ripple on the water as a fish approaches. Wait for just the right moment when they take the bait and begin a battle of wills to try and reel them in. Uh, this, uh, this can be just a bit tricky. It, it might take a few tries to just time your attack just right. And uh, once you do, you know, you're going to need to just keep an eye on that tension ball. Uh, let it get too high, and the line will snap, and the fish will escape. Uh, let it get too low, and the fish can get loose and get away. Uh, keep it in the center, though, and uh, you'll be able to wear down your aquatic opponent and reel them in. And uh, if you're feeling just a bit ambitious, and uh, you have Abbott's Water Life installed, uh, you can try catching a ride on a gondola and just uh, fishing there from there. I can do for you? But uh, this, uh, this can be a bit tricky. For the further away you are from your line, the higher the tension. Aha! I, I, I've got something, I've got something. Just gotta, gotta reel it in and... No, 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 you're going the wrong way, Mr. Gondolier. You're going the wrong way, the, the line's going to... Oh, oh yeah, it snapped, it trapped. And it, it's gone, it's gone. Well, best to try again. Wait, is that a great white over there? Well, that's definitely going to increase my tension. But uh, tension issues aside, uh, fishing from a moving gondola is actually just a lot of fun. I, I, I think I spent close to a, just a full hour just fishing from this gondola oh. as it moved about in random directions. Uh, we started out in the Norwegian <laughs> Bay near Vivek. But eventually, you know, we got out into the open waters of the inner sea. I, I, I mean, it is, it is quite fascinating just how far you can travel by one of these randomly generated gondolas. And uh, with a bit of luck, and just, you know, keeping the line in front of where you're going, uh, you can catch quite a few fish this way. Uh, speaking of, uh, there's approximately 25 different kinds of fish for you to catch. There's some unique to different regions of Ardenfell. Uh, which ones you're likely to catch depends just on a number of factors. Uh, time of day, region, type of bait used, and water depth, uh, just to name a few. Certain types of bait, like uh, simple lures that you can purchase from merchants, are more likely to attract smaller fish. Other types of bait, like crab meat, will attract mid-sized fish, while the largest predators of the ocean can be hunted using smaller fish as bait. And if you're looking to go after those big fish, uh, why not prowl the waves and set sail with one of these ships from Sails and Sails? Anchor in deep water, cast a line, and get ready for a fight. For the bigger the fish, the more will they'll have to try and survive. Now, you may have to just try your luck a few times or more, but every time you do, uh, you'll improve your fishing skill just a little bit more. So maybe next time it'll get just a little easier. Uh, there is honestly, there is honestly just an amazing level of synergy here. Ultimate fishing works just so well with sails and sails, water life, and just uh, pretty much every other seafaring and nautical mod you can imagine. 
because where there's water, there's opportunities for fish. And again, it is just, it is so much fun to sit back and do a bit of fishing in between adventures. I, I, I mean, honestly, it's, it, it's kind of addicting. It is just so easy to sit here for hours or more just, you know, trying to get the next fish. And uh, if you have ash fall, that those fish can actually serve a purpose. Uh, for you can grill them on a stove to make for just a nice tasty treat to satisfy that hunger. Bigger fish you'll have to cut open and harvest to get at those sweet, sweet innards. And with bushcrafting, uh, there's a number of new fishing related items that you can now craft like a fishing poles and fishing nets. At least I forget, it's also worth mentioning that there's five legendary fish for you to catch. Unique fish that will prove a challenge to catch. But uh, once you do, uh, you'll get a nice little trophy to mount on your wall. Uh, there, is just, there is just so much to like here. It is, it is little wonder that Ultimate Fishing ended up being the number one most endorsed mod of the 2023 Marathon. At the level of polish here is simply inspiring. And never in a million years would I have thought to see a fully animated, fully functional, fully fun fishing mechanic in the vanilla Morrowind game engine. But uh, here, here we are. The community has come just so far in the last 20 years, and a Merlord in particular has created so many of these wonderful mons that are just an absolute joy to play. Uh, fishing, in particular, is, you know, has always been a favourite of mine in RPGs. Uh, I, I used to... Uh, well, I, I used to spend just quite a bit of time fishing in World of Warcraft. Uh, more so, actually, than doing dungeons or raids. Uh, I, I had the market pretty much cornered on oily blackmouths. So, ultimate fishing is just right up my alley, and uh, with more planned features potentially coming in the future, uh, like a uh, random loot and quests, it, it's only going to get better. Uh, this is easily one of the best Morrowind mods of 2023 so far. It, it, it is, it is utterly amazing and a true triumph of skill. One of the best mini games I've ever seen from Morrowind, and again, just a lot of fun. I, I strongly, strongly recommend uh, checking it out if you haven't already. It is worth all the praise and so much more. Uh, now, uh, while I may have hours and hours of gameplay footage, uh, we can only show off so much here, so that's just, uh, that's just our more the day. Uh, as always, uh, I've been your host, Rock Elf Guy. Uh, thanks for watching, stay safe, stay healthy, happy modding, and I'll just, I'll uh, see you all next time. Thank you.